need to write 100 words minimum. What is formal and informal email writing? Should I use different templates for each of them? Will the spelling mistakes going to affect my score? And how much marks will it contribute towards the writing section? So if you have all these questions in mind, then trust me, today's video is that video where I will be discussing all the aspects along with tips and tricks. So make sure you watch the video till the end for the templates. Hi, my name is Rubal and this is ptmocktest.com. So without any further delay, let's delve into email writing for PT code. writing keep an eye on your these three facts first one you need to write an email of approximately 100 words that's very important make sure you write at least 100 words you have nine minutes to complete the task make sure you write minimum 50 words but don't go beyond more than 120 100 words is the best limit but keep your word limit between 50 and 120 Third one, this task will give you score in your writing module and for this you are going to get two to three questions in the exam. Now that's how your screen is going to look like on your exam day. You need to read your instructions carefully. That's very important because sometimes students tend to forget either the time limit or either the word limit. So they get confused between the two task types. So always make sure enough practice and read your instructions carefully. Now, email, you will get it in two parts. First one is your description, which is usually up here. And the second one is your three things. One, two, three. Usually three or two depends on the question to question. If you are including both description and themes in your one, you are not going to face any trouble in writing any kind of email. You have to type your email in this box. Write an email up here. Word count will be there for you. Uh, another thing, problem solved. You don't need to worry about doing it manually. Cut, copy, paste option is also there. You can use if you wish to. This will help you to save your time in doing uh, typing again and again. So make sure use wherever you need it. Now, the scoring of this task will be out of 15. The email writing scores is 15 marks each. And seven aspects on which they are going to give you score. First one is content. Content is when you are going to include your situation from the description along with those themes, you will get full marks in this one. But if you are either missing out one theme or not able to connect it correctly with your description, then they are going to deduct your score accordingly. Second is email conventions. Now, what is email conventions? Email conventions are nothing but just the salutation like your opening and their ending remarks. Dear Harris, hi Fiona, regards, with love, your name. These are your correct conventions. Make sure you use it in your correct email writing. Then third one, form. Form is nothing but a word limit. Word limit recommended by Pearson is 50 and 120 words. So keep your email in between this one. If the word limit is 30 to 149 words or 121 or 140 words, that means even one word less or one word more, they deduct your one score. If it is fewer words, only 30 words, you uh, haven't done enough practice and you just confuse what to write, how to write, then your time is over, you are not able to write, they'll give you zero with that one. Fourth aspect is organization. Now, to get full score in the organization, just include your description and your themes in the same order they have given it in the question. This will simply make your task easier and you can get full two out of two in your organization skills. Next one is vocabulary and grammar. Vocabulary, to get full scores in the vocabulary, try to avoid the repetition of the word. Here, I'll give you list of synonyms. You can take screenshot of it and use it in your email writing. This will definitely give you two marks in your vocabulary part, grammar. Now, don't worry much about the grammar as well. If you're using the templates, this will help you to get the full score in your grammar as well. Now, the last aspect is the spellings. Okay, 
if you are making mistakes or typing errors up till two words you will get full marks okay so that means two words are allowed to make the mistake but if it is more than if, if you are making three or four spelling mistakes you get only one mark and zero if there are numerous if you are making plenty of spelling mistakes obviously how you are, how they are going to compensate you it is going to even affect your overall writing score so make sure keep aside one or two minutes for your proofreading your work and then you can easily get the good scores in your email writing this is the template for formal email writing this is your opening remarks these ones are your closing ones and this one in between where you need to just put your information from the description box and this one these three lines are your theme if they are just mentioned two themes it's okay you can just only write two lines as well and then i hope these suggestions will help if they ask you any suggestion in the question or if you are giving it from your own side then you can use this line i look forward to your reply if you are expecting any reward from them or else you can use this one as well i look forward to your action if you are um thinking that they are going to give you any suggestions or they are going to take any steps or whatever um you are expecting from them then you can use this line as well regards your sincerely faithfully out of these three you can use only one any of it then your name here okay full name so you can take screenshot of this one as well all right now based on this template let's practice one question how we are going to attempt this question now first as soon as you're going to get the question you read the question carefully that's very important to know the difference between your description and your themes let's read it together the newspaper the times this is the name of the newspaper have printed about a tv show which you think is false and should be removed so this is the description they have given that the newspaper have mentioned about a tv show which is giving you the wrong information and it needs to be taken out write an email to the editor mr daniel wars now editor what is the difference between the formal and the informal one person who is having some authority or having in charge such as your director principal editor this is the example this is how you are going to recognize that this is an example of your formal email writing and explain why information is wrongly misinterpreted so these are your themes why it is wrongly misinterpreted also request you to take the necessary action so here you need to take some steps now let's fill it into the template dear daniel they have given the name dear daniel i am writing this because the news about the tv show the gunman you need to specifically mention it doesn't need to be necessary that it has to be um any any real one it could be um any fictional uh, name of the show that's perfectly fine is portraying false information and needs to be corrected so we just paraphrase this description that's all we have done my name is simon and i am a marketing manager at testnet so your name and your designation firstly i would like you to inform you that the gunman show is not misleading the younger generation but it is also encouraging them to support this program which is not good for them so we are going to first tell them okay this is happening and this is going to affect their program furthermore it is important to note that the information written in the newspaper may promote negativity why they are saying that this information is wrong and why we need to take it down because it is going to promote the negativity and we simply and simply cause unrest among the view, viewers okay so you don't need to write up till here you can stop up here as well if you think that your word limit is complete you are um, going to easily write it down and you have less time so it's okay you don't need to mention two three reasons one is enough then lastly i would request you to kindly post a article about corrections to promote the tv show so this is the step we are suggesting
that kindly post that article again with the corrections. I look forward to your actions that one line with regards Simon. That's how you are going to just put the sentences into your template. Similarly, we are going to practice about the informal email writing. So this is the template for informal email. Informal email is when you are going to write your email uh, to your friends, families, near and dear ones, loved ones. For that, just keep your language casual. Okay? And pro tip, you can use contractions in this one, but not in the formal email writing. What is contractions? These one. Hope you are doing good. So you can do this one. How is your family going? Or how is your family doing? We can write both ways. Both are correct. The reason I'm writing this is similar to the one uh, we have used the line in the formal ones. The reason from the description. Also, I wanted to let you know that whatever according to the situation or the theme. Another thing is talk to you soon. Regards your name. Just take a picture of this one. Now, let's practice based on the informal. Let's read the question together. Very important. Your friend has received promotion for his staggering work. Uh, write an email to him congratulating for his new achievement and ask for the party. Give suggestion for the place. Now these are your three themes. And this is our description. Now based on this one, let's put it into the template. Hi David. Now. Sometimes, specifically, specifically with the female, they just sometimes they are not uh, easily focus on what's being given in the questions. Okay, so make sure you read it. Here we need to choose the male name. Why? His, him, his. So make sure don't do that kind of mistakes. Hope you are doing good. How is your family doing? The reason I'm writing is I was very happy to hear about your promotion. So, we just talk about promotion and I wholeheartedly congratulate you. Obviously, if someone got promoted, got rewards, you are going to congratulate them. You are going to give them felicitations. Also, I wanted to let you know that such great moments call for a gathering. And maybe you can throw a party over the weekend. Or you can suggest any specific date mentioned. It's okay, perfectly fine. Another thing is, now your suggestion. Another thing is, there is a new restaurant just opened last month near the town. If you know the name of that restaurant, you can mention. If not, that's okay. You can explore. That's okay. Well, let's catch up and enjoy. Talk to you soon. Regards, Simone. 83 words. Perfectly balanced email and you will get full score in your email writing. Now, sometimes students ask me, can you give me a study plan for email writing? Well, just follow these three steps. Okay. First one, practice both type of emails, formal and informal, at least 12 to 15 questions, which will give you the confidence that you are able to write any kind of email with different uh, either it's to editor to the director your uh, best friend or your uh, relative so different kind of questions you know the word, word uh, you know the synonyms of that one you know the vocabulary for that one this will help you out definitely second the templates will help you to manage your time so these templates will definitely will give a boost to your time management activity third one Spelling mistakes. To avoid the spelling mistakes, use the simpler words. Don't need to go for any high five words. If you still have any doubts, book a free demo with me. The details are on the screen. Well, that's all for now. See you soon. Well, that's it for today. If you found our video informative, don't forget to subscribe us and hit the bell icon for more latest videos. This will really help us to produce more content. My name is Rubel and this is ptmogtest.com.